Hey everyone, it's Army Gaming. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to Monster Legends. Today we're gonna do some grand duels. Huge shout out to Nightmare for your account so I can make these videos. Yes, videos because I'm gonna try to make a series out of this. So let me just lay the foundation. I do not normally play grand duels. I don't even play classic duels. My heart with Monster Legends is in the wars. I've said this multiple times. I love the wars. That being said, every once in a while I do dabble in the Grand Duel, so this is going to be one of those times. So Nightmare let me use his account, but I'm also going to be using my account as well. Maybe we can do some live streams with them as well, and then you guys can give me input on what to do. So here's the thing, because I don't play the Grand Duel and the Classic Duel, I am a complete noob when it comes to this. Every once in a while I'll play it, and I'm like, oh this is fun, but then I never really get into it. I don't have the time to get into it. So... Here's the thing, in my personal opinion, the best thing about games and the most fun thing about games is when you self-discover, when you figure things out for yourself. So, as much as I'm a noob and as much as you guys are probably pros at this and want to tell me, Armor, do this instead, use this team instead, please, please, please try to refrain from telling me this is the best team, try this combo out. I just want to discover things out for myself, I just want to try things out, let's see what I'll learn. Ideally, yes, I should be watching videos of players who are actually really good and getting advice from players, but again, I love the self-discovery. This is why when players tell me on my live streams or just in the comments like, Armor, I have these monsters, tell me a good team. I'm like, just try it out, it's PvP, do whatever you want, try things out. There's nothing better than just trying things out for yourself and discovering what works what doesn't work and the cool thing is if you're not just copying what everyone else does you might discover a hidden gem of a combo so with that being said please 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 try to refrain from telling me to try out a specific team or what is the meta in grand duels i'm sure if i look around there's information in the wikis information in the forums on discord but i really want to self-discover so with that being said we're going to do one or two battles per video and let's see what becomes of this so we're going to click on the grand duel we're going to click available monsters. Let's see. So it's all the cosmic monsters. I wonder if once we have a new era, if there's going to be grand duels with corrupted monsters. Anyhow, we're going to click start. We're going to pay the two and we're going to go into the monster. So we have Krampus the Killjoy, Lightmare and Vanos 2099. What the heck does Krampus do? Krampus, massive dark damage, zero cooldown. So in case he gets hit with CDA, random torture to one enemy, uh, water damage freeze. He has a free skill, random torture to enemies. He can't be frozen and possessed. Ooh, that might be good. And he can't be hit with CDA. We have Lightmare. Lightmare is not a good trait, but he does have powerful skills. Cleansing right here. In case I take on Megaton. And Vanos is the Pierce monster. I uh, could potentially OTK. Um, hopefully, I get an MT monster so I can hide behind that and just pierce away. By the way, you also can't change runes here. Ooh, we have Vishmoss. So now I'm going for a triple damage Vanos play. And then we have a Megaton. There we go. So we'll do Bomb Beta. So I'm going for a triple damage Vanos play. Because I think Vish is faster than Vanos. So change skills. So AoE Daze. Yes. He has a stronger AoE skill if I'm not mistaken. Let's run our... Let's see. Crash Intruder versus Falling Like Flies is stronger. So let's do Crash Intruder, Falling Like Flies, Volteca Claw. And let's do... A, which one is it? Damage boost, pierce, evasion to itself. How do you do days? Um, Volteca Claw is my strongest attack, so I'm not going to run how do you do days. Instead, I'm going to run that evasion skill because, hey, it might come in clutch. I maybe don't need both AoEs, but nonetheless, we'll try it. Um, as for Vish, blocks uh, applies immune to freeze and damage boost to all allies. Maybe, maybe. There's deniers in the game. Um, applies double damage to an ally, removes negative effects for sure. This is actually my main skill. Boom, because I'm just going to buff Vanoss whenever I can. Uh, what else do we have? Deals moderate, dark damage, applies nature weakness, magic weakness, triple damage. Oh, I lied. This is my main skill. So we'll run the triple and the double in case I need a cleanse from Vanos. Uh, nature weakness, magic weakness, dark weakness, immunity to freeze and damage boost. I want that just in case he's a freeze monster. Never know. Damage boost. Um, hmm. Dark weakness. What do I need? Nature weakness, magic weakness, nature weakness, dark weakness. Nature, dark magic. Oh, this one does nature, dark damage. Wait, I don't need any of this. I don't have... Wait, Vanos is, has fire metal. Uh, okay, so we are just going to run a single attack. Deals moderate, dark damage. Sure, why not? Uh, maybe I should run the stronger one, but it's fine. And then on Bomb Beta, he's going to be running... He has to be able to give himself Megaton again. So Shine of the Bulb, I think, is the way to go. So he can reapply Megatons. He has to be able to sunburn and daze an enemy monster... But before that, we want to have a cleansing skill, so we'll run Warming Light, a self-heal skill. I think it's the Taunt Sunburn, no Sunburn Days. I thought he had a, a healing 50%. Or is his Megaton? His Megaton heals 50%. Man, I'm also outdated with some of the Cosmic Monsters, so hopefully I know most of them. At least the meta ones. Uh, removes negative effects. Yeah, single target. And then we are going to Days. Removes negative effects from itself. Ah, oh, there we go. Cleansing could be useful. 
low light damage. Celestial might be nice because sometimes you get hit with CDA and you want to be able to attack. All right, so this is my first team. Again, you're not allowed to change the rune setup, but I actually really like. I actually really like because you have to work with what you're given in terms of the rune setups. It would be interesting if SP also made it so you can't change the skills and then you literally work with exactly what's given to you. But nonetheless, we're going to try our best. So we might just do one video, one, one battle. Assuming I can last long enough, we'll do one per video because with me explaining everything, it does take a while. So I'm going to triple damage and we'll see how this goes. <laughs> oh my god. So... Lindworm can turn transfer, but that won't help. You can cleanse Megaton, but that won't help. Oh, wait, there's a... Yeah, because I have Pierce. Greater Times Curse. So, Crash and Shooter. Oh, my God. Flies. Volteca Claw. Everything is powerful. Fleeting safe for now. Um, Logic says kill Robo Elf. So, Robo Elf is dead. Um, I think we got this. Why is Lindworm team speed? SP, what are you doing? <laughs> Give him three speed. Why team speed? All right. You know what? It, it, it would actually... Uh, I am nanovirus uh, warming light. I think I have a cleansing scale. Removes all negative effects. Life regens what's up. We're going to do that. All right. Um, applies double damage. Immune to freeze. Darkness inside. Black fire. Immune to damage boost. Impartial removes negative effects. I'm going to get turned into a baby, so I might as well just give myself the damage boost. Yeah, he's going to do the AoE baby reversion. I think I got this. Oh, no. He's going to mega. Oh, yeah. I can't be frozen, right? Can't, um, he can take away a chunk of my life. Oh, no. Uh... Yeah, you can't freeze me. I think he should have gone with the percentage damage skill. Alright, let's see what he does. If he removes my positive effects, he'll, he'll reapply a curse, which won't be a bad thing for me. And I'll lose the pier, so I'll have to attack you. Alright, that might be a good play. Oh, sequence bend. Interesting. Alright, so he's going to take away a percentage of my life, and then the curse will take away 20%. E. Oh, luckily I survived. Alright, falling like flies. Crash intruder. What do I want to do? Um, applies pierce and evasion. I think he is not frozen. I think I want to go for game. So I'm going to pierce an evasion. Um, I'm going to go with Mega Taunt. And then I'm going to cleanse double damage boost. So I think I got this in the bag. It was a close one, I got to admit. The, the player was able to make a comeback. Um, but as I was saying earlier, we're just probably going to do one per battle. So this is why you run the cleansing skill. Applies double damage boost, negative effects from one ally. There we go, I'm good to go. I have double damage, I have the damage boost, I got the immune to freeze, which definitely helped out. Alright, we're gonna go with, look at that gorgeous damage. Alright, we'll take a clap when I left the battle, and GG. Yeah, one per video, because with me explaining my thought process and how I go about choosing the monsters, um, it just makes sense that the video will probably last long enough. Unless I get wrecked <laughs> right away. Alright, we're taking on Monster Master. Monster Master has, oh, I get to go right into the triple damage buff. Why? Why am I taking on metal monsters? Yikes. All right. So the, the priority from what I'm seeing right now is as long as I can lim eliminate the main attacker, chances are I have a really good chance of winning. Um, I got blessed by being able to run triple damage of Pierce mechanic with Megaton. That's just crazy, I think. Forbidden spell. Look at that. Oh my god, I could kill you if I wanted to. Um, but we're just going to Volteca Claw, kill Robov again. He's the main threat. He can kill my Bomb Beta. He can OTK Bomb Beta most likely. So this is what I want to make sure to do. Um, as a next, yeah, I just go into the other ones. I'll just use my AoEs, destroy everything, taunt, that's fine. I'm going to lighten up the darkness to cleanse my negative effects. Definitely good that I'm running cleanse skills, I don't really need to attack. Uh, as for him, he's easy enough to kill. Opponent left the battle, that is two victories so far. Doing really good. Alright, again, I was blessed with a really good team. Alright, but I'm still a noob, guys. I am still a noob, believe me. I don't know what I'm doing. I just happened to to get this mechanic. I wonder if this is one of the better mechanics in the game. All right, we are face. Oh my god, right away. Forbidden spell. I don't know what they're running. Crash and shooter, yeah. Falling like flies. It looks like I don't really need to run both most of the time. I like this cuz it dazes though. That's the nice thing about that. Lightning punch upon left the battle. There we go. Yeah, I wonder if I should just run the single the single metal attack instead of the daze. Should I edit that out? Should I edit that out? Let's see. Oh, he has a self-cleansing skill. That might also prove to be useful. Heavy metal damage, so... No, I think reducing accuracy on turn 1. The problem with this skill... This skill is stronger. It's significantly stronger. But... I don't know if it's worth... Because this is fire-based, so I can use it against metal monsters. I think I don't really need it, unless there's a strong light attacker. Like, who's the strong light attacker? Katsu? Wait, no, no, a magic. I have another one to advance against magic. Ooh, the extra turners. Those could be dangerous. Let's see if we run into any of those. 
Gabriel, 4,500. Um, oh, nope, you're, you're going to get wrecked. Forbidden Spell. Yeah, this this mechanic is too good. He can give his ultimate anticipation. It doesn't even matter. Um, Shelly. Oh, I know Shelly with that damage mirror. If you don't have a way to cleanse, 100% damage mirror, 100% shield could be deadly. Um, but when you have the pierce mechanic, you're good to go. You're good to go. But again, I promise I'm a noob. I promise I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, White Walker hands. Um, so flies does 160k damage, and this does 185. Yeah, the the attack difference is significant enough to where I I think I want to keep the stronger AOE. So so far we have four battles in a four battles in a, four victories in in a row. Um, looks like we're gonna be doing good. Looks like we're gonna be placing in the top. I think if you get five wins, you actually get a level ten rune. So for those of you that are super experienced with this, um, you guys might look at this. I could always forbidden spell and then AOE. Yeah, I deal 180k. Everyone's gonna get wrecked. He could turn transfer. He can remove my positive effects. I think is he an extra turner? I think Tess is an extra turner. Opponent left the battle. There we go. I was blessed with a good team. Wow. Flawless victory. Maybe we'll see that last one. Um, yeah. For those of you that experience and when luck is on your side, you might be able to get a level 10 rune for pretty cheap. Oh my god. Here we go. Oh, there's a light monster right there. Um. Opponent left the battle. There we go. So my first time playing Grandmaster Duel, not even in my account, and again, in a while, um, I six-coined, or six-coined, what am I saying? I six-starred claim. So when you win, you get a Grandmaster Duel ticket, you get five Ludum, which that's very lackluster, but you, it's fun. And then you get three additional Grandmaster Duel tickets, right? Because your score is going to jump up to one. And then if you can make it to five wins, you get a level 10 rune. And I wonder where this puts you up in terms of ranking. But with that being said, guys, that is going to be it for my first video on the Grandmaster Duels. Let me know if you guys want to see more of this. Again, I'm planning to make a series where I just try different teams out. It'll be one per video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you thought about it in the comments below. Huge shout out to Nightmare for letting me use your account. And remember to subscribe.